I am your host, Supreme L. We would love to give high honors to Prophet Noble Drew Ali and all the active Moors. Active Moors. Because here on Partner Interjection, we dig up information to divulge to the people for the upliftment of fallen humanity. And yes, they have fallen, 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 fallen. We got a special show, show for you, pardon me, today. Uh, where we have a special, special guest. A great, great sister. A great, beautiful sister. And we will have her on the line here shortly. It's going to bring her up. Islam family uh, on the phone we have that great sister uh, um, no introduction is needed I want to let you introduce yourself sister who do we have the pleasure of having on the show today uh, I'm Sharice I'm CEO calling from Northwestern Islam Moors alright alright thank you thank you thank you thank you love to have you and it's a blessing to have you on the show sister how we Happy. doing yeah. alright alright how we doing uh, all is well, can't complain, you know? That's right, that's right. So, um, you know, prior to us uh, coming on to the show, we, we had a little discussion on uh, this black thing. Uh, you want to just <laughs> go right... <laughs> you just, you just want to go right into it, sis. What's your thoughts? Uh, this black thing, huh? I mean... But we all know it's a spell, as as more as we know, it's a spell that needs to be broken, and um, it's something that it's it's something that our people really need to stop claiming because it's it's, it's admission of you being non-descendable, you know, which right. basically allows <gasps> these corporations, these corrupt corporations, to claim them to abuse them, you know, create birth certificates and driver's licenses and <clears throat> excuse me, all these instruments that they use in order to put them in the jurisdiction where they can control them. Mm. You know, and it's, it's like, you know, these, we, we try to open their eyes to see the, the corruption in what they're doing. And it's like, because they're claiming something that wasn't meant for them, it's not for them, mm. you know. Right. They, they're basically submitting to it. You know, they're, they're submitting to the abuse and, and, and you know, it's, it's sad, but at the same time, you know, free will and everything, you can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, right? Right, right, right. So, you know, let's, let's, let's first, you know, have an understanding of what is black. Since so many people get, get the, the, the word itself out of, out of context. Can you go into that for us a little, sis? Well, well, the word itself, black, it's a Middle English word. It's, it's, it was created in the 15th century, around the 15th century, and it means bleach, mm -hmm. you know. It means bleach. It's something pale. 
Right. So it's like, when you do the etymology on it, it definitely doesn't identify, you know, the children of the son. Right. And um, then, then you, if you want to get into the connotations of it, and you want to relate it to your skin, it still doesn't mean your skin is brown. Right, right, correct. <laughs> You know, so it's like you're showing just how well you don't know yourself. Right, right. You know, so yeah, that that's that's pretty much where it's from. Right, right. And then you know, we 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 get we 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 see on the media. Uh, you know, we we see the brothers promoting this uh, unconscious black crap. And uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you did you so call have did you happen to see the so called uh, comedic war conference yesterday? Oh, the concert. Yes, yeah. so I witnessed the concert a little bit, and I witnessed as much as my eyes could stand. Right, right. <laughs> I I I, ca- I, ref- I refer to it as the greatest show on earth. Ringling Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. I call. I call. I call Bashir one of the elephant men. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just like, but no. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's sad and, and it's a shame that you know we have these fake scholars like that don't really have no degrees at all. They really don't have a real inkling on what they you know talking about because. Uh, I posted a, a video. I did a short interview of a sister, a Nigerian sister from uh, across uh, in a Mexican, and uh, you know we were talking about the black thing. So I posted it on YouTube, and um, you know whenever you get a chance, I want you to check it out. But as far as that, what do, what do you have to say as far as uh, mixing uh, the black misnomer to our people? And knowing that anywhere else on the planet, they're not being called, or we're not being called that. Well, due to tremendous um, history altering on the on behalf of the colonial powers, right. you know, you said the land, um, creating these instruments, like I said, for our people to use and and trap them within their jurisdiction. Well, trap them due to their ignorance, you know. Um, it, it's you can understand how they will identify themselves as black, right? Right. right. However, as you said, you know the Nigerian sister on the other side of the Atlantic—they they don't even look at us as black. Right, right. You know, they right. don't know anything like they they call us they call us from where we're which would be American. Right, right. You know, they don't know nothing, no black and white nothing until they come over here. Right. And then they get boxed in the caste system, you know, that's constructed. Right, exactly. And, and, and um I remember um I remember watching this video, um, I'm sure you've seen it, where the uh Egyptian brother came over here. And they said that his status was white. Yes. You know, yes, a yes. white person. Yes, yes, I and have, he yes. fought <laughs> they, right. and he fought to be identified as black. As black, right, that's right. Not understanding that they were right to cast them as as, as white. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's what he is. White and purity, purity means God, God is the rule of the earth. Right. That, that just shows Well, oh, pardon me, sis, pardon me. No, no, that just that just shows how 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 twisted we are. You know, that just shows how uh-huh. twisted we are, and we're truly, and we say it all the time. And well, I hear Brother Taj and other sisters and brothers say that um, we truly got this uh, Eddie Murphy and uh, Dan Aykroyd thing down pat, trading places. Yeah. Honestly, not even being in places. It's like we're going beneath. We, we, we're not even. We're not considered. Well, I, let me. Let me. Excuse me. Let me not say we. Mm-hmm. Those who are black, they're not treated as 
humane on any degree. Right. You right. know, have a little more too. So you're, you're you're dead in the eyes of the law. You consider you know? it right. Like, you're it. Yes, you're it. <laughs> and let's look up that it. Hold up, hold up, sis. Hold up, sis. I got the dictionary right here. Let's look up that word it. Uh, but uh, please ex expound a little more while while I find it. Yes, like um. There, there's pretty much two, I would say there's, there's two categories that our people need to really pay attention to that they get boxed in. Mm -hmm. One is minority, and the other is black. All right, y'all now, family, y'all write that down. The sister said minority. Um, if you get a chance, please look that up as well. Have a black flag on okay. me. Pardon me. Okay, me neither. Since I'm just come taking it from the uh, Marion Webster's dictionary. Now I do have the uh, Black Law Dictionary one through seven. Um, I just don't have them right in front of me. But I'm also uh, looking at. Take it out right now. I'm looking it up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, while I'm skimming through this. Uh, Pardon me, pardon me. It. Okay, it. Uh, the parts of speech, pronoun, uh, linear definition, that one. Used of a lifeless thing. A paint, a person, or animal, or an abstract entity. So the first thing right there, the first linear definition, the one in this whole, that one, used as a lifeless thing. It. Lifeless thing. So a lifeless mm -hmm. thing. And as an it, you can be a classified as property, chattel property. Right. You know? Right. So... That's pretty much the box that they, or the, the, the category that they allow um, our people to check off right. in their ignorance, right. you know? And you said chattel, right, sister? Mm -hmm. You said chattel, right? Yes, I did. Okay, I, I got chattel right here. Uh, parts of speech, part of speech, a noun. Uh, it has the first linear mess linear definition is an item of tangible property other than real estate. Now, mind you, I'm still reading from the Webster's Merriam Webster's dictionary, so it's going to be kind of connotated, but this is close. Uh, an item of tangible property other than real estate. A slave, this is the second linear definition, a slave or a bound man. Uh -huh. So, yeah, basically that's what they say. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say they are. They're, 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 that's what they claim. That's what they, that's claim. What they claim. All under the 14th Amendment, which is not ratified by, by Congress. You know, it, it's... Um, it's a game for these people. Right. Corporations, it's a business, you know, so all that they're doing is reaping a profit. Right, right. Not a profit, like the profit, right. you know, no do I be. Right. Just to make that, that clear, but they reaping a, they're trying to reap a profit off of our virtues. Right. You know, our energy. Calculating energy off our input, well, output. That's right. And sucking us. And then you have the minions that is helping Dracula. Well, maybe I shouldn't say Dracula. Well, maybe I should say <laughs> Dracula, not Count, because the Count comes from Moorish. So I would just say Dracula just keep feeding and sucking off our people, sucking our life yeah. force. Yeah. And just um, a side note, a Count is like an accountant. Please. You know? Thank you. Thank you, sis. Please. This is part of the interjection, so please feel the interject anytime. <laughs> anytime, please. 
But continue. Yeah. Continue, sis. Um, it's just, it's, it's, um, I wanted to get into minority. I'm going to look that up on Black Love really quickly. Not a problem. Minority is, um, basically, as I'm looking for the, um, the definition, I'm searching Black Law's Dictionary 4th Edition, by the way. Okay. Um, minority isn't what the, the masses assume it to be. Right. You know, we're taught that minority is like you're less, you know. One is minority, majority, uh, majority right? Yes, ma'am. So you're looking at you like, oh. But even as a minority, it's like, why would you even consider yourself a minority knowing that a majority of the of the planet Earth is covered with copper color people. Right, right. You know, but in the <clears throat> the, the the way that the the um the way that minority is used is in terms of someone's mentality. Correct. Correct. Saying that you're a minor. You're saying that you're a child. That's what they're basically saying. You're a child. You can't handle your own affairs. You can't take care of yourself. You, you can't do for self. So they take it upon themselves to claim you. Mm. To be your guardian. Mm. Or, you know, they'll, they, they, they put you, with, with, they, they'll call you a ward. A ward of the state. Right, right. Pretty much what what what's going on? Like all, all these all these little terms, all these words that they're using, and because we don't know or they don't know the true definition of what it is, they mistake it as racism. You know, they mistake it as something that it isn't. Right. Yes, and our people really need to stop. Being so emotional, not, I'm not saying that that they're wrong for feeling the abuse mm -hmm. and feeling and knowing that some some form of injustice is happening. Right. It's, it's correct. Right. The way that they're perceiving it and the way that they're going about it, it's not gonna it's not gonna reap any results. Right. Correct. People still marching, still you know they still go to these churches. You know, they're doing dying, you know, where they're just laying on the floor, almost like, you know, Jesus take the wheel kind of thing. Right. <laughs> right. right. Like, what are you doing? Get up. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is that, that's, um, the, the, these terms are something that we, we as a people need to make sure that we know. We understand, overstand what's being said, how it's being said, how these terms are being used, and what context. You know, it's it's imperative. Right. It's imperative. Yes. yes. You got you got minority. I'm still going through. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I can't. I'm, Go on my tablet right now. Okay, go ahead. Do your thing. I'm going to give you the uh, just the linear definition of it out of, out of the Webster Dictionary until you find the Black's Law because we're always going to get it out the Black's Law, too. I got it yeah. right now. Yes, okay. I have it right here. Okay, Minor. Go ahead. An infant or person who is born with a disability or under the age of 18 who is under the age of legal competence. Mm. One under 21. A term derived from the civil law which describes a person under a certain age as less than so many years. Mm. Also less of less consideration, lower, a person of inferior condition. Mm. A person of inferior condition. Mm. When you say you're a minor, you're letting them know that you're not even equal to them. Right, right. Out there protesting for civil rights and all of this, not even human rights, right? Which would be right, right. Now check this out. Check this. Go ahead. You go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. No, no. Check now. Now check this out. Now this. 
is coming out of the Webster's Mer uh, Merriam Webster's Dictionary of 19, 1974. And this is minority. Parts of speech now. Minorities, plural. First linear definition. Now dig this. Now dig this, family. First linear definition, which is got a, which is the denotative, the period or state of being a minor. So that right there alone lets you know that when you say you're part of the minority or you're in the minority. You're saying you're in the class of children. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're right, says that is imperative that our people know these terms. And terms, terms now, terms. Mm -hmm. Now, now leading, leading, now, now that we have somewhat just a, a piece, a piece of the puzzle you know so we can put this 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 grand mosaic art back together that's been shattered what are some other uh, keys or pieces that we can use on a daily to navigate on a daily to navigate well for one our people need to read the United States of North America Constitution, 1791. Mm, very good. Be start, you know, very that'll be good. a start saying that it's the supreme law of the land. Very good, sis. <laughs> you know, um, another thing is um, be who you are, which is Moorish American. Mm. You know, descendants of Moroccans born in America, which includes North America, South America, Central America, and the adjoining islands. Correct. This is what the prophet, Noble Jew Ali, was bringing to us. He brought this back to the forefront of our mind. Mm hmm mm hmm Because he needed him the most. Right. He didn't do it because we were his favorite. Right. <laughs> you know, he came to those who <laughs> well, needed him the most. Right, right. And he's a universal yes. prophet. Yes, he's a, he's a universal prophet. That's, that's correct. And um, when it comes to Noble Jew Ali, you know, people want to skip over him and, and, and what he set up. And this is nothing. Mm. It's just so disrespectful. Like, for, for people who say, you know, um, with the mothers and fathers of civilization, you know they'll they'll go to they'll go across the water to to so to Hikukta or Egypt, you know, so called Egypt, and and um, they're like you know we, we see the hieroglyphs and we see the pyramids, not even knowing that we got pyramids over here. Right. The pyramids all up and down the Mississippi. Right. You know. Right. That's right. These are things that we have to look into. We have to look into these things. Why, why are they trying to distract us so bad? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, still waiting for this late shit they saying that we came on. Right, right. What? <laughs> right. Where is it? You know, right. they preserve everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, these modern Europeans, they take pride in what they do. Right, right. It would be in a museum somewhere. Well, look, look, Wouldn't it? Part, part in the interjection says, now let me ask you this: What do you say about those that's in the community that's pushing uh, the 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 black agenda and the Afro black gods of Egypt going back on a rowboat over there type <laughs> type, 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 type people? Say they're gonna be in for a real rude awakening mm. you know like um you touched on the 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 conference 
that was held near Harlem here the other the night, and um, I posted something. I posted something on Facebook, um, stating how it was disturbing to see. Mm-hmm. You know, like you're you're calling out to a, uh, this 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 um, unconscious more. He goes by Dr. Reggie, and um, I caught I tuned in to the live stream right when he was calling out to the, the, a black god. Mm. And like, he doesn't even understand you're calling out to a blonde haired, blue eyed paleolist mm-hmm. as your mother. That's what you're claiming when you say, you know, the black woman is God. Yeah. You're saying that the blonde haired, blue eyed paleolist <laughs> is your mother. That's your. <laughs> right, that's right. That's right, sis. And I, I, I pardon the interjection. I'm only, I'm only, I, I only, I only laugh because you're so right, sis. It, and it's sad that they don't, you know, they do comprehend that. They do get it, sis. But it's in the, they do have uh, an in uh, an agenda because I know that for a fact that. Uh, our master educator and uh, peace and blessings be upon him uh, brother Taj Tariq Bey has taught these brothers from Sanetta from Sanetta from Sanetta brother Larry Polite Seti all them unconscious moors and I'm going to say that again all them unconscious Conscious Moors know truth, but I'm mm-hmm. telling you, you can only do it for so long. Because I didn't watch that whole conference last night, but mm-hmm. the part I saw was the ending of uh, the dude Ark, and when the Pill Brother came on in. Now the pill brother had to be like, everybody wake up, y'all sleeping here? The pill brother. Yeah, uh, what was his? What is the one? Uh, Red pill and blue pill. Red I'm pill. I'm not sure because I, I yeah, wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't yeah. watching <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's about the um, blue and red pill guys. Yeah, the the Moors. The the Moors. Uh, Oh, man. Yes, he stood up there and he was like, "Come on, man! I know y'all not sleeping here. I want to hear something." What you want to hear? <laughs> do, do Do you not realize that the people are waking up? Mm-hmm. See, mm-hmm. and 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 my brother, my big brother, all love to him. I need to call him too later. Cujo Arduel up top told me that they were passing a bucket around. Oh yeah, he told me that hundred dollar offerings, and then they dropped ten dollars, and then they dropped it to one dollar. I'm like these leeches, you know, like it's no different than wow. the people wow. that they have on the corner of the block trying to reach they, as as much as they can. You know, you know. It, 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 it's it's no different than a Jimmy Swagger telethon. They just <laughs> <laughs> they just did it on the internet. <laughs> you know that's just y'all sick, man. Y'all are sick, bro. Y'all are sick. But and you 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 right in the thick of it, sis. You you right in you right in Babylon. So. Um, but I know you're going to tough it out because we got energy that's passing out there to you. But, uh, you know, we I want to first send out uh, 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 and give thanks to you, sis, because I really appreciate you sisters because, you know, that's what, that's what it's going to take. Once the sisters get it right, this thing is over. The bullshit is definitely over. So I want to give my thanks and my love to you, sister, because I truly love you, okay? Love to you always, and you know, oh. I, I, you know, keep keep blessing your sons, keep blessing us because um, I know you and sisters like uh, Sister Anna Eve and Sister Roz, oh. 
Y'all do a great job. I can't bless you. I can't, I'll bless you. Bless you. I can't bless you, sis. Bless that's right. Blood sacrifice. You're right. This blood, that's, that's right. <laughs> I bless you too, sis. I give thanks to you, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, but sisters like y'all, y'all, y'all keep. Y'all keep us, you know, y'all keep us ahead of the game to get y'all back in the game to get back on the bus because I think we threw y'all off the bus because we got sidetracked of our true purpose here. So, I, again, I want to say thank you, sis, and all love to you. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Now, like, like what, what nationality, nationality is the order of the day. But so many people get that uh, misconstrued and say you don't need nationality. What what yeah. what can you what can you go in and say about nationality? Says uh, nationality. Nationality is your nativity. Mm hmm. Your nativity comes from your mother. Right. So you can't say that you don't need a nationality when it took. And it took your mother to to bring you here. Right. You know, you're, you're basically cutting off yourself once again from your foremothers and forefathers. Mm. Your mother especially. Right. It's like comments like that. It, it just it just it just shows the ignorance. Right. It shows first and foremost to show you don't know yourself. Mm. All these people who, uh, you know, they do their studies and half of them honestly they don't do any studies they just sit home YouTube and Bobby Hammett right 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 you know, let's keep it real that's right you know, and, and no disrespect to Bobby you know he was taught by him or he was taught by um D. Freeman L mm. the majority of the things that he knows you know what I'm saying and, and he breaks it down for these so called black people to understand certain sciences you know but because our people don't do their own research, they can't put, they don't put the pieces together. Right. You know, they, they just sit here, they'll just sit there and they'll, they'll listen, you know, but, but man knows not by being told. That's right, sis. Not doing yourself and not, you're not, you won't get the understanding that you need to save yourself. Right, In the right. For everything it took to save a nation, so there's there's no excuse. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But um, it's it just it's um with nationality. This is a, this is a divine and national movement, and it is the uniting of Asia, understanding that we are one family of one mother, was given us a you know, and um, one father provided by his care. Mm. It's something, um, funny enough, black people, quote, so-called black people, they, they say, you know, we are a family. Mm-hmm. But then, now look at me, you know, someone who is copper colored, as light as I am, I'm still copper colored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful you know, color too, sis. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful oh, no. color. I, 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 if, I, if I got to say so myself, beautiful color, sis. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> you know. Right. And um, they look at they look at me and they'll and they'll see less than what a woman is in their eyes. In their eyes, mm -hmm. you know. And I, and I wanted to go into um. The Clock of Destiny, I was rereading this the other night. Actually, I, I picked it up um, right after I was watching. I tuned into the conference, um, uh, the sound editor conference that, that was online. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I had, I, had to, I had to read something of substance, you know, just to purge myself <laughs> of what I was seeing. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Um, exactly. no, 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 no. <laughs> Exactly, I know what you mean. You had to replenish yourself from the bull yeah, crap. I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't know, you know. And um, I just want to read a little excerpt. This is this is the Clock of Destiny volume 
in one. Please, sis. Master Key is still out of Please. By ZMB. And um, I just want to touch on this a little bit, um, this excerpt here. It states on, I'm on page 16 of the book, and it follows, um, the blonde women of Patagonia, South America, had manifested their culture heightened in the society of Islam, which qualified them to establish the society of the cross, laden with mystery and emotional false doctrines. Laden with mystery <laughs> and emotional false doctrines. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Just had to repeat that. Okay. One more time, please. Um, One more time. An emotional false doctrine. Mm. You talk mm hmm As a positive weapon of liberating themselves from the amalgamated iron handed rulers or dictators who had shielded the secrets of nature as shown in the signs of the zodiac and established a doctrine of mystery and religious superstition by force. As a result of the following amalgamated generation of Moorish fathers and blonde mothers, as a result, the amalgamated generation of Moorish father, fathers and blonde mothers grew up in ignorance of the science of the 12 signs of the zodiac and the applied principles of Islam. Now, this is the that, that right there is deep. That's because beautiful. for one, for one, the mystery and emotional false doctrine. Mm. Touching on the party system, touching, you know, the whole Marian, uh, Marian Jesus, um, uh, doctrine. Right. See, you see that. You you break. I am what I am. You breaking up. A, you breaking up a little bit, sis. Pardon the interjection. You breaking up a little bit. You there? Yeah. Okay. Please continue. Yeah. Not get, I'm not. I'm not getting at per se. What I'm, what I'm getting at is the imagery mm -hmm. that was projected. The imagery that was projected to our people. You know, blonde hair, blue eyes. They identified that to be the Jesus Christ. Right. 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 If you, you do your studies and you know that's not the case. However, this is what was projected. These imageries, these they they'll they'll take they'll take something that is true and they'll twist it into their own version mm. in order to have some form of validity of themselves. Right. 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 Now, it goes further into state. Um, it goes further into state as a result of the following amount of the following amalgamated generations of Moorish fathers and blonde mothers grew up in ignorance of the science of the twelve signs of the zodiac and the applied principles of Islam. The principles of Islam. Mm, the principles. This is what they were. That's what they did not have. They did not know of this. Right. And right. that was on our part. That's our fault in the historic events, you know, leading up present day. Right, right. You know, it's like it's, it's the, 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 the further, the deeper you go into the history, the more you start to see how because we were trying to satisfy our lower selves so bad, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. To be in control, be number one, right. be the rest, thinking we're so big, we so bad, we so bold, you know, the grim law of retribution came back and knocked us. 
Right. So you think so? Part, I'm sorry. Part, no, pardon me, sis. So, you, so would you? Is it safe to say that uh, that is full circle now dealing with our people That's today? Awesome. Right. That is karma. Right. Where you at? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right, sis. Oh yeah. Yes, indeed, indeed. No one is above the law. No one, no one is above the law. Mm hmm. And we and we're not talking about no, no, no uh, judicial law. We're talking about universal law. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay, we got about um. About five more, about five more minutes on this, and then you know what we can we can come back and do a part two to this. But we got about five more minutes. Is um, <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> it, it's a blessing to have you on here, and I, I'm I'm going to definitely have you back for part two and other other shows. Um, is there any uh shout outs and uh giving thanks to anyone out there that you want to give to? Oh yeah, I want to shout out and give thanks to my prophet Noble Drew. To my master teachers, you know, Sister Anna E, Tasteri Bay, Sister Mariah, uh, Sister Mariah Bay, um, you know, Brother Kujo, all, all the active mourners, man, you know, I want to give thanks to you for having the show, you know, putting the word out, because this needs to be heard. This definitely needs to be heard. You know, to all my ancestors, seen and unseen, God, known and unknown, you know. Mm. We give thanks to you, sis, and I appreciate that love. But uh, any, any, any time, anywhere, any form, anyhow, this platform is for positive mores, those who know who they are, and there's no charge. We don't put no cover fee. <laughs> we don't. We don't try to sell tickets. But uh, you know, we we get the word also, and I, we we give thanks to you. Thank you, thank you very much, sis. We appreciate you. And I want to give uh, extreme, extreme, extremely high honors to Prophet Noble Drew Ali. And I want to start putting on the record uh, El Har Sharif Abdul Ali. We're going to start putting his national name on the forefront. And uh, I want to definitely thank uh, my sister, Sister Salali Bay. She's not only my sister, she's a great etymology uh, educator amongst other educational facets. Uh, uh, I want to thank uh, Cujo. Cujo. I can't, I can't stop thanking my brother. That's, that's my brother. And I want to thank you of all, sis, because uh, I really appreciate you coming and, and sharing with the family because we need more and more in M-O-O-R sisters stepping it up. Thank you, family. No, no. Thank you, sis. Okay, and uh, we're going to have to come back and we're going to do a, a part two to this. Okay, so um, I'm going to... Um, Cut and paste this thing, <laughs> as I say. I'm gonna cut and paste, and then uh, I'm gonna get back with you in two shakes. Alright. Alright, thank you again, sis. Peace and love. Yeah. Family, that was Sister Reesey L. I'm gonna call her that, because that's my sister. Sister Reesey L. Please. Thank you. Alright, well. As you know, that was a good tune. Um, uh, I want to thank uh, my sister, Cerise L, and I call her Reese L. Uh, she's a beautiful sister, beautiful inside and out. Uh, like I say, don't believe me. Go. Check it out for yourself. And you'll be amazed at the jewels you'll find on your treasure hunt. Let go of that black crap family, okay? Because it's not us. It's just not us. We have a nationality. We're Moors. Come back to yourself. Yourself. Alright? And as I say, 
I am your host, Supreme L, and thank you for joining me for another beautiful episode of Parting the Interjection. And my beautiful co-host, Sister Sharisi L. Islam, love, and peace forevermore. Thank you.